Well, hello everyone. It's LA up in the house. We finna do Virgos. We gotta do Virgos reading real quick. How y'all doing? I want y'all to like, subscribe to my channel. Show me a little love. Did you care about me? And you wanna keep me on here? Let me know, let me know, let me know how you feel. <laughs> let me know how you feel. Okay, Virgo, we need to see what's going on with you this week. So, we're going to find out what's the energy going on with Virgos this week. Okay, y'all, let's do it. Okay, let's get started. What is the energy going around you to, that's going on with Virgos? Virgo, what is the struggle with you this week? What's the main energy this week for the Virgo? What's the energy for the Virgo this week, Spirit? Okay. That's the energy. You got your Ten of Cups. Okay. I can understand why you want the Ten of Cups. You want contentment. You want, you want the love, total love and support that you need in you, and you you're feeling that you you want this, you want this family to get together. You want all that going, Virgo. It's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with wanting all the good things in life, and it's it's nothing wrong with it. Okay, Spirit, what else do Virgo needs to know about this week? On the Ten of Cups, what else is Virgo this week? Okay, here we go. Arca Magic. There's an Atlantic Library open. Some of you are trying to do some magic. You're trying to come up with something to uplift your life. You're trying to do some, you're trying to bring this together. You want this together. So you're kind of like magicianing this together. You want this 10 of cups. Okay. What else? Spirit, they need to know about this 10 of cups and this magic. They're trying to, you're trying to bring together a family or you're trying to get your new love. You're working on rekindling. There's so many things this week. Okay, what else, Spirit? Okay, Virgos. Okay, now you have the dedicated fairy and her ferrets. You got change in natural good. And yes, it can hurt. Listen, there's some changes going on in your life. Sometimes you got to give up this Ten of Cups. Sometimes you got to move past this Ten of Cups because somebody doesn't want the same thing you do, Virgo. So you got to move past that. You wanting it, but they're not wanting it, okay? You can't make somebody else want something that you may want the relationship, but they're not seeing it, okay? You know, Virgo, they're not... Y'all not on the same page. In other words... You're not dedicated to it. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Anything else, Spirit? You need to talk about this. Ten of Cups, anything else? Anything else? About this ten. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, yep. Butterflies in gloom. After sadness, happiness, and hope, hope returns. After some sadness, you know, there's going to be hope. It's going to return back into your life. You're going to feel some kind of sadness this week because either you broke up from family and you're going back in time and you're thinking about it, you know, what we could do to get back this Ten of Cups this week. You're basically thinking on what you can do to bring things back to, in proportion. Um, let's see. Relationship. What do you want to tell my Virgos pertaining to this issue here? Yes, it's going to hurt to let go, Virgo. It hurts like all get-outs. 
okay? What's gonna happen with this love affair? What's gonna happen, Spirit? Okay, here we go. It says, worth waiting for. Divine timing is a work in your love life. Uh, divine timing, they're trying to tell you it's worth waiting for on this relationship. Um, you need to take some time apart to think. That's what you're doing this week. But it's worth waiting for this relationship. It's worth waiting for is what they're saying. Anything else you want to tell, Virgo? Okay. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take, Virgo. They're telling you, go ahead and do what you got to do. Because, you know, it's going to be worth it. It says you deserve love. You are lovable. Remember that. You deserve love and their work angels are going to work with you on this one. But they're saying, Virgo, it's worth waiting for this love. What could happen if they wait, Spirit? What could happen if they wait? Okay. But, okay, it says... It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the higher energy of all. Then you have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. There's some financial problems going on in your love life right now, Virgo. That's causing all this uproar and upset in your relationship. But it's going to get better this week. You just got to think past all that. It will get better, okay? It just has to get better in love life, okay? Um, let's see. Is there anything else we should talk about this week? Don't hit spread, spread before I close. Is there anything else you would like to say? Virgo, so basically y'all are up on your love. It says it's worth waiting for. The love that you got is worth waiting for. So you need to think about that before you totally distance yourself from it. Okay, then we have, okay. Um, we have the justice card. Um, basically what I'm seeing about the justice card is there will be some justice in something that you think is unjust or something that you that you've been working on that you you don't feel like you got justice for it's in process okay you just have to have faith but justice is coming for you for you know the situation you just have to have faith and believe me it's coming then you have the queen of cups but she's in the reverse, okay? She she is in the reverse, the Queen of Cups. Um, it could be a new love coming towards you that um, could be an issue. But, okay, it's basically, okay, this tangled female concerned with the public opinion, slightly argumental look beyond the smile before considering your trust. There's someone in your life that you need to be careful with, the Queen of Cups in the reverse, because um it could be a water sign, this very untrustworthy type person that's coming your way. So you need to be very mindful of this person and their intent towards you. Then you have the Ace of Wands, but it was in the uh, reverse, okay? Everything wants to be in the reverse of the Ace of Wands. And um, it's just like what I see with this, okay? Uh, give me a second. Uh, the Ace of Wands... Uh, the Ace of Wands. Okay, basically, there could be a loss of wealth. 
and position as it results of excessive vanity. Some of y'all are just overspending, Virgos. Y'all just putting yourself in the in the hot seat. So they want you to kind of calm that down. Calm down your spinning habits, Virgo, for a rainy day. Anything else you want to tell Virgos? <laughs> Giving them, oh, come out of the devil energy. It's in the reverse. And, you know, that's, that's, that's a situation where, you know, that you're coming out of the devil. It's in the reverse. You're not trying to come out of that devil energy. Some of you have negative feelings and you're trying to take ill, the ill approach and revenge to something that is in your life that you need to just say, hey, it didn't work and move on. You know what I'm saying? If it's, why is the devil here in the reverse? Because of the Empress, yeah. See, because of the Empress. The Empress could mean a lot of different things. The Empress could be a pregnancy um, that came about, some parenting. This person here, the Empress, she's just got a lot going on. She could possibly be a pregnancy that because that says the empress, yeah. A pregnancy is possible. And um, and sometimes you may doubt yourself and your circumstances. However, new and exciting times are approaching. A time of love and pregnancy is indicated. So there's love coming out of the situation with the empress down the road. The Empress gonna bring you some love on the two-way street. Yeah, Virgo, then you need to know it's a two-way street. I don't know why I'm saying that, but anyway, that's your reading. But I'm gonna pull one more card. Let me get an angel message. Can I have a message for my Virgos? Okay, Virgos, okay. Um, okay, we got two cards here. Let's go with it. It says, a good you do come back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate to you. Then they want you to do unfounded fear, expecting the worst, though creating a self fulfilling prophecy, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to stem to the situation. Sleeplessness nights, refocus on your thoughts. You need to refocus. You need to regroup. <laughs> Simple as that. You need to re regroup, Virgo. But okay, that's your reading for this week. Thank you for joining. Push that out. Likes and subscribe.